Here we are at the closet that we're about to uh, widen out. We need to widen out this closet because this doorway is only about two foot wide and there's six foot of wall behind it that uh, we could actually be using. So we're gonna like try to buy some real estate for this bedroom and uh, actually widen out the door so that we can actually uh, see more space for use. Uh, put some uh, type of shelving in there and hanging space. Inside the closet are lots of things that I have to take out. I need to remove everything before we get started. And after we get started, then I'll probably be able to handle the rest of the demo. Yep. You see that there's all this room in the closet. And there's no electrical here, which is good. So I can clean this out. And we can buy this extra space even up to the ceiling. We can find storage. Make more room. Time to demo. I have to uh, unscrew these from the wall. And after I do the unscrewing from the wall, all the way in, then I'll be able to remove the shelving system. Okay, everything is out of the closet and it's ready to go. I'm ready to do my demo on the walls. So, as you can see, the door is uh, possibly the same height as the original door here. We have to remove that original door and I'm putting two of these sets in here uh, about the same height. So I'm going to have to use the king studs and the, the door studs as well as the top plate of this door. I'm going to see if I can put the hanger on it and then just go ahead and insert the doors, for the bifold doors. Because this uh, top plate is already on this side of the door, I'm going to have to cut one to fill this side of the door. And uh, because it's such a, a light wall and that stud is there, I will have to brace it uh, against uh, two filler pieces here. And I'll consider that like the king stud right there. Okay, now that the uh, the top plate is on, we're ready to put the doors in. And all we need is uh, the bars that are going across and the stationary to be positioned in the trap or in the, uh, I'm gonna say the track. And to station the bottom portion with a hinge Okay, today's the day that we have to put the doors in the tracks and put the tracks up. So we have the tracks here, which come with the door. They come with the door kit, and uh, if you have two doors, you probably have two of these. Uh, you have to split the difference in the header of the door. Uh, so they will go in this way. And then you put the, uh, the doors uh, by the tabs inside of the track.
Okay, now we have to measure the bottom so that we can get the bottom evened up. This way, the pivot point on the door so that it stays in one place on one side uh, definitely has to be lined up with the top so it's not uh, unlevel, but it is level straight up and down at the same height. In that case, we have to measure the top portion and make sure that it matches with the bottom portion. Okay, it looks like it's um, lined up because my hand is on it here and I'm following this ray all the way up to the top. So it's held right here. And as I'm going up, I'm gonna make sure I mark it right there. You see where it's lined up with the track? outside of that track so that you can see my hand keeps moving all right that's where I'm going to mark it okay now to do the other side I've kind of marked it out so that it's even going up 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 to the By that hole on the other side and making sure that's correct. There it is right on the line. Okay, now that the doors are hung, I'm going to finish up the flooring and the trim and put drywall where I can and spackle where it needs to be to finish this door. They both open and close. They're both in working conditions now. Working condition number one. They're both streamlined and able to open and close. And then we have a, a wider girth to go in and out of and put our shelving in. That looks good so far. Okay, just making sure that the door is level. You might want to check so that uh, it's up and down as you travel up the door that it stays level so that you know that you have uh, the right height all the way up and down the door. You want to make sure it's level all the way up and down. Very good. Okay, the shelving is done. We got the shelving up high enough and it's uh, balanced really well. So it's that I see three hanging devices here. We have hanging clothes here hanging clothes here and shelving up there and that is pretty secure I'm liking that and I'm pretty sure he'll like it too even installed a new hanging here and this it's good
this it needs to come down some more. I wonder if I can mess with it now while oh, it's still drying. over because the trim is different than the door okay we have done some finishing here in the closet I managed to at least paint some of the and put that and then, after the doors are closing very nicely, this is the room. This is the end result. So, I'm alone and take my own.